Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm RB8. I'm hoping in the near future to be in a position to upload a very special video. It will be a sermon that I have been inspired to write on a chapter of Exodus. So I hope you'll keep an eye out for that. Don't forget I'm still looking for volunteers to help me read Psalm 119. So if you would like to do that, please email me at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com. It's Numbers chapter 9 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask, as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 9. Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the first month of the second year, after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Moreover, let the children of Israel keep the Passover in its appointed season. On the fourteenth day of this month, at evening, you shall keep it in its appointed season. According to all its laws, and according to all its practices, you shall keep it. Moses spoke to the children of Israel, that they should keep the Passover. They kept the Passover in the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at evening, in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moses. So the children of Israel did. There were certain men who were unclean because of the dead body of a man, so that they could not keep the Passover on that day. And they came before Moses, and before Aaron on that day. Those men said to him, We are unclean because of the dead body of a man. Why are we kept back that we may not offer the offering of Yahweh in its appointed season among the children of Israel? Moses answered them, Wait, that I may hear what Yahweh will command concerning you. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Say to the children of Israel, If any man of you or of your generations is unclean by reason of a dead body, or is on a journey far away, he shall still keep the Passover to Yahweh. In the second month of the fourteenth day, at evening, they shall keep it. They shall eat with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They shall leave none of it until the morning, nor break a bone of it. According to all the law of the Passover, they shall keep it. But the man who is clean, and is not on a journey, and fails to keep the Passover, that soul shall be cut off from his people, because he didn't offer the offering of Yahweh in its appointed season. That man shall bear his sin. If a foreigner lives among you, and desires to keep the Passover to Yahweh, according to the law of the Passover, and according to its practice, so shall he do. You shall have one law, both for the foreigner, and for him who is born in the land. On the day that the tabernacle was raised up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, even the tents of the testimony, and that evening it was over the tabernacle, as it were, the appearance of fire until the morning, so it was continually. The cloud covered it, and the appearance of fire by night, whenever the cloud was taken up from over the tent. Then after that the children of Israel travelled, and in the place where the cloud remained, there the children of Israel encamped. The commandments of Yahweh, the children of Israel travelled, and at the commandments of Yahweh they encamped. As long as the cloud remained on the tabernacle, they remained encamped. When the cloud stayed on the tabernacle many days, then the children of Israel kept Yahweh's command and didn't travel. Sometimes the cloud was a few days on the tabernacle, and according to the commandment of Yahweh, they remained encamped, and according to the commandment of Yahweh, they travelled. Sometimes the cloud was from evening until morning, and when the cloud was taken up in the morning, they travelled, or by day and by night. When the cloud was taken up, they travelled. Whether it was two days, a month, or a year that the cloud stayed on the tabernacle, remaining on it, the children of Israel remained encamped, and didn't travel. But when it was taken up, they travelled. At the commandment of Yahweh, they encamped. At the commandment of Yahweh, they travelled. They kept Yahweh's command. At the commandment of Yahweh, by Moses.